So perpendicular is going to be exactly the same thing. I'm actually going to use point slope form for this one, though, which is just a different equation. But you're going to, if you like using this method, that's fine. Um, again, the main important thing is we need to write the equation in slope intercept form. So we need to identify our slope and our y intercept. Um, now, parallel lines we know have exactly the same slope. Perpendicular lines have what we call opposite reciprocals. That means they're opposite in sign. Perpendicular lines, one's positive. So if you have perpendicular lines, they intersect at a 90 degree angle. One has a positive slope, one has a negative slope. So if my slope in this equation is negative, and I want to write an equation that's perpendicular to that, my new slope has to be positive. And then, you do, then they're also reciprocals of each other. So if I have 2 thirds, my new slope is going to be 3 halves. All right? Um, so we have 3 halves. Now what I'm going to do is rather than doing like I did over here, I'm going to use slope, uh, point slope form, which looks like this. It's just another way of um, finding the equation of the line. But what's, point, what's nice about point slope form, especially if you, uh, have it, if you know what it is, it's great to use for when you have a point and a slope. Do we know what the slope is? Yes. Do we have a point? Yes. So it's great to use for point slope form. Um, rather than using that way. But that way works too. So I'm just showing you guys a different way because this is usually the preferred method. So you, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to plug the point in for x1 and y1. You could plug them in for x and y if you wanted to. But we're, I'm going to plug them in for x1 and y1 just um, because then they'll be positive. So when I do that, I obtain y minus 1 equals m, which is 3 halves, times 6, oops, sorry, times x minus 6. Does everybody see what I did? All I did was I replaced y1 and x1 with my points that I was given. Um, now, now we just need to apply distributive property. So we have 3 halves times x, which is 3 halves x. 3 halves times negative 6. Does anybody remember how to multiply what that would be? Nine. That's going to be 9, right? Remember, for those of you that forget to give you a quick tutorial, rate your whole number as a fraction, multiply straight across. 3 times 6 is 18. 2 times 1 is 2. 18 over 2 is 9, but it's actually a negative 9. So therefore, we have y minus 1 equals 3 halves x minus 9. Then all we got to do is add the 1. So 3 halves x plus 10. Oops, sorry. Minus 8. Minus 8. Thank you. So you guys can apply either method. You could either always use slope intercept form, or you can rewrite it in potent slope form. Basically the same thing. The math is about the same. The difficulty is about the same. There really is no preferred method over the other. Um, <clears throat> but as you guys can go back and verify, they are perpendicular. right? They have opposite reciprocal slopes. Um, and they have also different uh, y-intercepts, which is helpful. They're not exactly the same, but that's OK. They could actually be the same if they needed to be. Anybody?